Welcome to the presentation on finding the equation of a line. Let's get started. Say I had two points. Let's say I had the point 1, comma, 2, and I had the point 3, comma, 4. And I want to figure out the equation of the line through these points. So let's, let's at least figure out what that line looks like. So 1, comma, 2 is here. And then 2, 3, 3, 4. 3, comma, 4 is here. And if I want to draw a line, a line through them, it'll look something like that. So what we want to do is figure out the equation of this line. Well, we know that the, the, the form of an equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, slope, and that tells you how steep the line is. And b is the y-intercept. And I don't know why people chose m and b. We'll have to do some research on that. b is the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is just where does it intersect the y-axis. So let's get, and this problem is you can actually look at it and figure it out. But let's do it mathematically. So the equation for the slope, m, it's rise over run. Another way to view that is for any amount that you run along the x-axis, how much do you rise? Well, let's do that numerically. Rise is the same thing as change over y, and run is the same thing as change over x. Delta, this triangle, means change, change in y. Well, change in y, let's, let's take the starting point to be 3, 4. Let's say we're going from 3, 4 to 2, 1. The change in y is 4 minus 2. We just took this 4 minus this 2 over 3 minus 1. My phone was ringing out. Let me, let me lower the volume. Over 3 minus 1. And that's just this 3 minus this 1. So if we just solve for it, we get 4 minus 2 is 2. And 3 minus 1 is also 2. So we get the slope is equal to 1. And that makes sense, because when we move over 1 in x, we go up exactly 1 in y. Or when we move to the left 1 in x, we move down exactly 1 in y. So now we know the equation is y equals 1x plus b, because we solved that m equals 1. And this is, of course, the same thing as y equals x plus b. Now all we have left to do is solve for b. Well, how do we do that? Because we, we have three variables here. Well, we could actually substitute one of these pairs of points in for y and x. And that makes sense, because th these points have to satisfy this equation. So let's take this first pair. y is equal to 2. 2 is equal to x, which is 1, plus b. A pretty easy equation to solve. We get b equals 1. So that tells us that the equation of this line is y equals x plus 1. That's a pretty straightforward equation. It makes sense. The y-intercept is 1, which is exactly here, 0, comma 1. And the slope is 1. And that's pretty obvious. For every amount that we move to the right, we move the same amount up. So the slope is 1. Let's do another problem. Let's say I wanted to find the equation of the line between the points negative 3, comma 5, and 2, comma, negative 6. Well, we do the same thing. m is equal to change in y over change in x. So let's, let's take this as a starting point. So let's say negative 6 minus 5, so we just took negative 6 minus 5 over 2 minus negative 3. You've got to be real careful to get the signs right. So it's 2 minus negative 3. Negative 6 minus 5 is minus 11. And 2 minus negative 3, well, that's the same thing as 2 plus plus 3, so that's 5. So we have the slope is equal to negative 11 over 5. And notice that if we, if on, on the numerator we use negative 6 as a starting point, then in the denominator we have to use 2 as a starting point. We could have done it the other way around. We could have said 5 minus negative 6 over negative 3 minus 2, in which case we would have gotten, this would have been 11 over negative 5. So as long as you, if you use the negative 6 first, then you have to use the 2 first. 
Or if you use the 5 first, and you have to use the negative 3 first. I hope I'm not completely confusing you guys. Well, anyway, we know the slope is negative 11 fifths. So the equation of this line so far is y equals minus 11 over 5 x plus b. Now we can take one of these pairs on the top and substitute back and solve for b. Let's take the first pair. So 5 is y, so we say 5 equals negative 3, so it's negative 11 over 5 times negative 3, right? I just put the x in for x, plus b. So just simplifying that, I get 5 is equal to 33 over 5 plus b, or b is equal to 5 minus 33 over 5, on well, this equals 25 minus 33 over 5. 25 minus 33 is minus 8 over 5. So the equation of this line, and this one wasn't as clean as the other one, obviously, is, let me do another color for emphasis, y equals minus 11 over 5x minus 8 over 5. Hopefully that those two examples will give you enough of an idea to uh, do the, the figuring out the equation of a line problems. And if you have problems with this, you might just want to uh, try just the slope of the line problems or the y-intercept problems uh, separately. Uh, hope you have fun. Bye.